cents. I'm sorry I haven't been doing much this week, but the cold tried to double back on me, this time in my chest. So I spent the last few days in the bed, except when I answered some stuff online. Anyway, I had a, I got a dream from one of our regular YouTubers. She's one of our longest members. Her name is Carol. And I want you to hear this. She sent this to me on the 9th of December. Let me just start to say before I describe the dream that I grew up in New Jersey, right across from New York City. So as a child, all I had to do was look out a window and New York City was right there. In this dream, I was in my old childhood neighborhood. It was evening. As I walked on the street I lived on, I noticed my sister was looking up to the sky. And so were a few other people in the area. They were trying to figure out what was going on. They looked concerned to me, so I took a look up and saw writing as if an airplane wrote a message. However, the writing was very faded, and I couldn't make it out clearly, but the others who saw it when it was first written said that it was a threatening message. I realized that whosoever wrote it must have infiltrated security because if there was such a broad threat, why didn't an F-16 fighter jet stop this message or messenger? I knew in my spirit, it was no joke. Excuse me. And it was serious. Then I looked to the east where New York City would normally be, however, it was not there. Ah. Uh, okay. See, that's what I mean. It's Pat's two cents. That's what I mean when I say when we get together on the 31st of December at 7.45 p.m. Pacific, we need to pray about a lot of this stuff. People are having dreams left and right, and we have to pray that God cancel the assignment of the enemy, no matter what it is. All right. Now, look at this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still dealing with this stupid cold. <laughs> okay. Um, then I looked to the east where New York would normally be. However, it was not there. Just the Atlantic Ocean, which in fact is there in reality as well. I saw the Atlantic Ocean and at first the image was blurry, but then all of a sudden it came into focus and it was, it was many, many military warships along the coastline. I knew we were now at war. The United States had massive ships guarding the coastline, at least the East Coast. Then I saw troops on the ground with guns, and they were telling people to go inside their homes. Mm. I do not know if these were American troops, but I can say I did not feel safe with them. But the strange thing was, they told us to go into our homes and put all the lights on and open curtains and blinds. They wanted to contain people to their homes and say and have the ability to look into their homes to get a head count and make sure people were not wandering around the streets. I went but my window, I went by my window to see what was going on and I was told to get away from the window or get shot. I did get a quick glimpse of a household nearby that had a family inside. I was able to see all that was going on because they had the shades drawn high and all their lights on. Hmm. There were more details to the dream, but I'll stop there. 
Pat's too sensitive. You know, I'm going <laughs> yeah, to pull her for that. I'm going to see what else she had to say. Wow. Mm, this is crazy. I got from this dream that there was an invasion and their goal was to enslave us or kill us as needed. Huh. I just want to say that I do not know if we will ever experience war in our country or anything as horrific as this dream. But when I woke up, I felt so relieved to have the freedom, security, beauty around for the most part in this country right now. We truly are blessed people. Someday, it may not be that way. She was saying we really are a blessed nation, okay? Someday it may not be that way. And I pray that everyone who lives in America will appreciate each day each gift. Someone once told me that even the poorest people in America are like rich people to those in other countries. We have hospitals for health care. Yes, they may not be perfect, but at least one can get some remedies if needed. We have churches where one can get a meal, clothing, or even perhaps a little money to help them out social agencies and scholarship programs. If someone is living in a bad area with a little hard work and ingenuity, they have the right option to move. Excuse me, they have the right and option to move. We have generous people and abundance of things. If one really tries, they can find a way. And so many, many choices. If we are wise and seek the right choices and seek guidance from the Lord, and that too is a blessing, the ability to worship the one and only true God. There are many complaints about America, but it is a blessing to live here. And I pray that we all can come to appreciate its goodness. Thanks for listening, Carol. Ooh, wow. I am telling you, that was sobering. Very sobering. Now, I'm going to see if this video turned out at least clear. Because um, I'm about ready to go back to bed already. So, anyway, I was working on my, um, I was working on a project for December. So, that's why you haven't seen me. But this is one of the things we need to pray about. All the dreams people have had about tsunamis, major earthquakes, all kind of stuff going down. We need to pray for time. Because God can use us in a great way in these last days. He always gives warning before he carries out a threat. And the warning is because of his mercy. If we pray... There are, there are scriptures in the Bible that says perhaps he would repent of his decision and we could find mercy. That's a paraphrase. But there are times that intercession can stop the inevitable simply because of God's love and mercy. We need to pray. And we need to pray on December 31st, Sunday night, starting at 7.45 p.m. Please join me, because we have no idea what's ahead of us. There's enough threats going on out there that even if we never have another dream, we know we need to pray. Okay, God bless you, and I hope to see you Sunday night.